Hi guys, making this video today talking about all of my favorite FabFitFun add-ons and edit sale finds. Everything I'm showing today has not been a category choice for me in a box, but they are things that I have purchased um, either in edit sales or add-on sales. And so I wanted to share today because we have the fall edit sale coming up this week. I have no idea what they are going to offer, but just in case you see some of these products and you're maybe curious about it, I'm gonna share my take on them. I have three categories um, of products that I'm going to be discussing today. So I have my loves, I have my meh, things that were okay kind of work that I wasn't thrilled with, and then my dislikes. So uh, I have a mix of things, all different price points today. And let me jump in. Um, I will start off with, start off with some makeup cosmetics. My first thing that I found in the edit sales was this Winky Lux eyebrow pencil. Um, I have tried drugstore and higher end eyebrow pencils and everything is usually too harsh for me. Uh, my brows are really thin as you can see and they're darker than my hair, but this, I was kind of wary of trying a universal pencil. I usually have to buy either blonde or taupe, but this was actually perfect. It's a chiseled tip, angled, and it was only $3 in the, um, I believe the add-on sale. And it comes with a comb on the other end. I saw this at Ulta for, I think, $18. And I was so stoked that I got this. I hope to see it again because it will be an instant ad. I am about halfway through this, but it has lasted me a while. So the Winky Lux eyebrow pencil was a win for me. Followed by, I have an unopened one. I also have a used one in my makeup bag, but it's really dirty. So I'm gonna show my unopened one. This is the Fabulous Flocking Lashes Tubing Mascara. Tubing mascara is something I've just heard of in this last, like I guess actually the last few months. Um, Tarte makes one that I haven't tried yet that I probably will when I burn through this. But this is my first foray into trying tubing mascara. And this is a polarizing product. On the forum and Reddit, people either love this or they hate it. I happen to love it because I am very raccoon eye prone. Um, I have to wear waterproof, just no question. And even that bleeds for me ever since my favorite um, CoverGirl waterproof mascara was discontinued about 12 years ago now. So I have been searching for something. I have tried every single brand, generally high end because I trust it more. Um, but this was only $5 and so I took a gamble and I actually bought a second one of it. I bought some for my mom. I recommend it to everybody. But it may not work for you. Um, I live somewhere, um, it's usually dry with a couple humid days. Um, it comes off with warm water, but it is otherwise waterproof and it has worked so well for me. I don't get the flaking that a lot of people describe. So it depends on your climate, it depends on your eyes. I guess I have very watery, blinky eyes. So um, mascara that is liquid is always difficult for me, but this goes on kind of like a rubber coating and then it peels off when you're done. I don't know if you've ever used like peel off nail polish, like the pink Tinkerbell nail polish back in the day. It kind of reminds me of that, which sounds weird to put on your eyelashes, but it has worked so well for me. All right, let's talk about a meh. This is the Mine Tan Glow While You Sleep. And I bought it even though it's pricier. Um, it was at the top of the range for some of the tanning products that FabFitFun offers. It was still a lot cheaper than what they offer on the Mine Tan website. So I thought I would give it a go. Because I like the ingredients, I thought, okay, it'll be kind of rejuvenating. As it says, it has lactic acid in it. I thought it would have an exfoliating effect and put some tan on and it works decently. Uh, I've only ever used like the Jergens and sometimes I can find L'Oreal at the 99 cent store, kind of that cream that you put on that has a weird caramely smell. And so this I would say is better than that, but I still would probably buy that before getting this again, just because of the price difference. And I find that those last longer. They take longer to set in. This shows within a few hours and I just put it on before bed, even though it says shower it off if you don't want to have you have a glow. I really like the applicator mitt. Um, I didn't have any streaks or any like missed spots or any patchiness when using this. And it goes on like a foam um, and a water. So this bottle lasted me all summer. I have probably two applications left that I'm saving for, but um, it was meh. It was a little orangey for me. Um, so I don't know. I want to try their coconut one just for the scent, but this I wasn't super thrilled with and I wouldn't spend $20 on it again. All right, let's talk about another, where is it? A cosmetic product, the Dermalect, wait, yeah, Dermalect. Um, 
eye cream. As you can see, I have hooded eyes and droopy lids and I, um, I use a different cream under my eyes, but this one, it says it's for dark circles and eyelids. So I do notice a difference when I use it and I love the consistency of it. So when you apply it, I don't want to waste it and squeeze it out, but it has this little tip and it is a really nice cream that stays in place. It doesn't slide down my face. It doesn't get in my eyes. And I do notice a difference. My eyelids feel firmer when I use it. So this was a win. I think it was $7. So it was cheap enough for me to go ahead and try. And I would absolutely buy this again. I keep seeing this company um, with their other products and I do want to try some of their other things. So eyelid and dark circle corrector revitalite. Highly recommend this one. All right, let's talk about living proof. Do I have my other? So this is my holy grail of hairsprays. The Flex hairspray, it has a heat protectant. I absolutely love it. Anytime I see it, I'm going to snag it up because um, I use it. I go through it. It doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It has a decent enough hold um, for me when I do my hair roller and I want just kind of some soft waves. I love it. It is probably the only hairspray I will use unless I need something super, super firm, but that's not typically what I go for. So this is the best. And at the price point, FabFitFun offers it for. It is a must grab. My other Holy Grail product is the Full Dry Volume Blast. I typically get this um, from Ulta when I have a coupon or other sales, but when I see this in the um, add-ons or edit sales and it's a good price and I happen to need some, I will grab it up. They're now offering the new reformulation. So before it was just a dry volume blast um, just for your roots, but now it's also a texture spray so you can use it throughout your hair. And this was a good one for me. But I was not a fan of the PhD dry shampoo. It's better than like Dove or something, but I feel like there are way better dry shampoos for me. Um, this is also one of their refill products and it just wasn't my favorite. I used it. It did its job. It was fine, but I didn't like the white cast it left and it didn't really give me great volume. That being said, this is my go-to dry shampoo. This is the Holy Grail. I found it through FabFitFun. I bought it again and it was actually cheaper than the first time I bought it. Um, this is for light hair. They also offer it for dark hair, but the Verb dry shampoo, it just gives amazing volume um, and it doesn't give me a white cast. It doesn't have the powdery effect that um, pH the Perfect Hair Day by Living Proof does or some other brands. So if I see this, I'm gonna grab it. The Verb Dry Shampoo, highly recommend. It sells out quickly. Like pretty much all of these products I think had to be um, waited for and waited for some to drop to add to my cart. But if you see this and it's the right price, highly recommend giving it a go because I prefer it to the Living Proof. Now, my last Living Proof product that I've tried, I have used it, I just have the sticker on it. The scalp revitalizing treatment. It has a little scalp scrubber, so it has the applicator, and then this little rubber scrubber after you apply it, you just attach it and can scrub it. And um, I liked the idea of scalp revitalization. I wanted to try it. This was in my Sephora cart, but I couldn't justify the price there. So when I saw it in the FabFitFun sale, I think it was 15 and I had a credit, I thought, why not? And didn't really do anything amazing for me. It's a thicker full of hair from the root, um, but it says to use like before bedtime. What is it? Dry or wet hair, massage in. I don't know. Um, I can't use this if I'm putting on dry volume blast. So if I'm styling my hair, that's what I'm going to use it on. And there's just never a good time to use it. And I didn't notice anything amazing with it. So I was curious because I am someone who absolutely loves living proof um, styling products, but I'm not big on their shampoos, conditioner, and leave-in treatments. So this one, I wasn't sure which way to categorize it, and as it turns out, it is not one that I love. So I would skip it, um, unless you're curious. I don't know. All right, and then I have this IGK Bouncy Beach Club Bouncy Blowout Cream. I got it mainly for the heat protection, 450 degree heat protection. Um, I got this, I believe, in the spring add-ons. No, it was for summer add-ons um, because I was getting the Foxy Bay blowout brush and I wanted some good heat protection before trying that out. First time I used it, I think I did a little too much and it's just, I don't think it's formulated for my hair type, which is really kind of thin, fine hair. Um, so it left it kind of weighted down and kind of stringy and greasy. So the second time I used it, I did just a tiny amount and it looked great at first. I don't know about the um, 
and heat protection, but as like a style primer, it doesn't really last. And I prefer the Living Proof Thickening Cream for using um, ahead of blowouts or styling my hair. So I don't know, it might work for you if you have thicker hair, it might be a better option. Um, I always still will use this occasionally until I burn through it, but I, it was a meh for me. All right, another cosmetic product. This is the Ilia um, Lip Mask. Um, I decided to try it. I have very dry lips and I think it's for overnight. Oh, Lip Wrap Hydrating Mask. Um, it smells nice. It has kind of a jasmine -y smell, but the texture is nice going on. It just doesn't hydrate my lips for any length of time. Um, I put it on today and within a couple hours they were getting chapped. So I just prefer using straight lanolin balm. Um, that will always be my go-to. It's better than like chapstick or something, but it's not for $11, which is actually low. Um, the FabFitFun price point is better than what you're going to find through the site or on through like Ulta or something, but didn't love it. I don't know. It's a meh. It's fine. It just doesn't do anything amazing for me. I did not rebuy. All right, let's talk about briefly just mentioning OPI nail polish. This color, Sweetheart. It's a classic pinky blush. Oh, my lid's kind of gross, but um, OPI, when they offer it at their price point and it's a color that you want, it's a good buy because this brand is much more expensive, closer to $10 a bottle normally. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to find some OPI top coat because I'm getting low. So that's always a win for me. Um, let's talk about... The Miami Beach Bum Cream. I bought this as a summer add-on. It was highly recommended and raved about. This is actually a meh for me for a couple reasons. So everybody said, you know, it's healing, it's soothing, it's soothing for your skin. And I thought, hey, maybe this will help kind of some um, like strawberry skin issues that I have. Didn't really for that. It is nice after shaving or if you have like um, irritated skin from that shave bumps. It's nice for soothing that immediately. But... Don't expect wonders from it like I did. Um, my other complaint with this is the scent. So people were saying it was very heavy on the oregano. I didn't notice that too much. It was just the lemongrass for me. I love the smell of lemon and lemongrass before it's applied. But the scent, for whatever reason, reacts with my skin just immediately after applying. And it smells like weed. I don't know why. Any lemongrass, any lemon oil, anything I've ever applied. I had one from Burt's Bees that I loved in the bottle, put it on. And my husband was like, is somebody smoking in the park? Like, what is that? I'm like, nope, it's just my lemon oil. So I can't wear this, you know, if I'm going to be around people. I put it on, like, for a day at home if I want, you know, after shaving. I just want smooth, calmed legs. It's helpful there. Didn't change my skin too much. And the scent is just a no-go. I wish that they sold it the same formulation in a different scent because then I might buy another one. But I had to try it because of the rave reviews. It came smaller than I was expecting. Um... But it's a meh just for that. Another lemon scented, lemongrass scented item is this Elemis Cellutox Body Oil. Now, the Elemis brand I'm a fan of because they are based on science. They make a lot of claims about what they do. And I did notice, um, so this is supposed to treat cellulite. Um, and I just... I notice a difference immediately after applying and for that day, but it doesn't do any sort of long-term treatment, which, you know, I should have known nothing can really penetrate the skin um, and give any kind of difference there. But I do like to apply it. I use actually my PMD um, massage tool to really work it in. And I do notice that it has kind of a diuretic effect to it. So I think it's supposed to be like an overall cleansing thing. So this is another thing. It is lemon scented. It says juniper and sea buckthorn. Um, but the lemon scent, again, I tried to apply this over the summer just for wearing shorts or whatever, and it's the scent. I can't get past it. Lemon and lemongrass, lemon oil just doesn't sit well on my skin. But it was nice to try. I wouldn't buy it again because it didn't do anything amazing. I think there's other kind of firming gels and creams that might do more. But it was good to try. Um, it was, I think, half the price that you would find it for at Ulta or through Elemis. So that's another meh for me. All right, let's talk about, this was a dislike. The Mio Boob Tube Bust Cream. Smells like jasmine. It's a creamy application, so I like that it stays in place. I like the consistency you apply it. It sits there. 
Uh, it's a multi-action bust farmer. Um, again, this is probably more due to my expectations, um, but it's not firming anything. I was at least hoping for kind of a skin improvement, um, maybe trading some stretch marks and things, but eh, oh, it says you can use it on your neck too. I don't know. I'll use it. I'll use through it. I was hoping for kind of some sort of treatment um, post-nursing and it just didn't really do anything for me. It's really just like a scented lotion that maybe softens your skin a little bit, but it didn't improve any kind of appearance and certainly didn't firm anything up. So that's a, that's a dislike. But by the same token, the same brand, the Mio Muscle Motivator Revitalizing Gel Hydrating Cooling Skin Relief. This I picked up for $5 and I had a credit towards it and I love it. It actually, I use this like if we're walking around, we have a day or I have a day where I'm on my feet the whole day. Before I get into bed, I massage this on and it makes my feet feel so good. It's so nice on my legs. It's cooling and it's just a nice way to relax. It actually does penetrate and it works well. And for $5, you can't beat it. This um, made me, restored some of my faith in the brand Mio. So I hated the, the boob tube, the bus cream. Love the muscle motivator gel. All right. I think that is it for cosmetics, but I will segue into tools. The PMD Clean. Um, I bought this again when I had credit. I otherwise couldn't justify getting it something so expensive. Um, but I do like this. It's, I would say it's a like a little meh just because it didn't do everything I was hoping it would do. I like the interchangeable head so you have the massage function. This is the um, like exfoliator like for feet and things. And then this is the, the loofah kind of pad and it just detaches like that. And then you have, I don't know why. Oh, it's kind of gross looking at it on camera now. I don't know if that's just the color of it, but I do like the magnetic function and it is a luxe experience and you just turn it on. It charges here. It has its own little charger with a USB cable um, that it comes with, but I don't think I'll ever go back to just a standard sponge. Lupa, they always get gross for me, but this one is made with colloidal silver and it, so it kills bacteria and it hampers like growth of microorganisms. So I do like that. It lasts a lot longer and I just store it upside down to dry off. Um, it didn't have like the wondrous exfoliation I was talking about. Uh, as I described, kind of hoping to fix like some strawberry legs. Didn't really do much of that, but it is nice to use in the shower. It feels nice. And like I said, I like to massage my cellutox in with the massage feature just for deeper penetration and to kind of break it up more. So that was a like for me. Um, I was waiting and waiting for that to be offered as a category choice and they never did. So I had credit and I finally pulled the trigger and bought it. And then I got my fall box as an annual. And then for seasonals, they offered it as a category choice where you had to um, pay a little extra to get it. But I was like, Are you serious? But I used it all summer, so I can't be that mad. Um, it was fine there. All right, let's talk about a couple accessories. I got a Lucky Brand pack of socks. I've opened it and used it. These are just what I could find quickly. But it came with five pairs of Lucky Brand ankle socks. It was five bucks. It's a good brand. Um, I like them. The elastic stays on my ankles. They don't slip throughout the day. Uh, you can see the threads already kind of pulling away. But um, they are good if I see them again because they're such an essential. For five bucks, can't beat it. I would add it again. Another $5 find were the Kitsch scrunchies. This came in a five pack of textured kind of cream and taupe color. I have this waffle one in. They were so cute for fall. They were five bucks. I love the Kitsch brand. I have a few things that I bought from them um, from other channels. And when I see them in FabFitFun edit sales and add-ons, I can't help myself because I think these are just so cute for fall for leveling up a messy bun instead of just a random pattern scrunchie. My favorite Kitsch product that I've ever gotten is the gold hair clip. This was also $5. I got it a couple summers ago. No, last summer. And it has been my go-to. It has held up. I, my toddlers have destroyed my plastic clips, but this one is unbreakable. And I love it because if you're just gonna, if you throw your hair back, um, it kind of elevates your outfit a little bit. If you're just doing a lazy hair day, Throw on some gold earrings to match it and it's just so cute and it lasts and it's a good size. It's called the open claw clip. So I think you can leave it open to adjust it to your hair, however much you have. I've never had to cause my hair, I don't have a whole lot. It's pretty thin, but um, I love this one. All right, let's talk about 
housewares now. These are the famous Draper James popper canisters. I store my espresso in the large one inside the bag just for extra sealing and kind of to hide it. They are so pretty. The copper is so nice. I love the hammered look. And my small one, I usually just do like stevia packets or whatever I have on my coffee bar. I love that they're different sizes. They're just so cute. I got these when they were $15 in add-on or edit sale. And then I saw them offered for like 40 bucks and I was like, nope. But I don't know. These are a nice one to bring back. I'm really hoping that they bring back or offer the olive oil bottle. If you know the one I'm talking about, the white olive oil bottle. It is so cute. I have so much FOMO over not getting that. And I've been waiting and waiting to see it in a sale and I haven't yet. So I really hope it comes back maybe for winter or the fall at its sale in a few days. Um, my other favorite kitchenware houseware good is the short stories. Um, I don't know what these were called. Something bowls, asymmetric bowls. I don't know, but it looks like this or you face them forward. It is so cute. I love putting this out when we have like taco night and we have all different salsas and toppings. I put them in this or we've done like bruschetta with little like garlic and um, the bruschetta. I don't know what it's called. The topping with the little tomatoes and we do like cheese or something. And I usually serve these either with it came with three little mini wooden spoons or I do like tongs. But I love this little um, slate, I guess, little rock plate that it comes with. I've seen the bowls offered without this now, so I don't know, at the same price that I paid for them, I don't know if that's just um, an inflation thing or or what, but I like this because if we put out our mocha head day with salsa, it matches it and it's so cute. And this is one of my favorite finds from FabFitFun. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna talk about these little cleaning gloves, these were a meh for me because they're really gross. I used them all weekend cleaning. Um, the bristles are too soft to really do any good kind of scrubbing. They're nice for dishes and kind of light cleaning where you really want to get in there. But as soon as I bought them, I saw them like for $2 cheaper at Walmart. And I was like, oh, I should have just got them there. But I had never seen them before. I was like, oh, add to cart. Eh, they're a meh. Um, I get use out of them. They're helpful. Not the best. All right, let's talk about the packing pods. Uh, I forget the name of the brand. I think I have a tag on one of these still to find out, but um, I got these when they were $7. I think they're usually more, okay, my tag alongs, that's right, packing pods. I got two sets of three, so it comes with a large, like this mesh on one side, a medium, and a small. And I am glad that I got two packs, so a total of six. I have a family of four and um, they are so nice for packing for kids who have tiny little shirts and pants and onesies and socks and underwear and everything that you want to keep together. So I usually pack per child and I have all their clothes or I do our outfits per day. So if I have all the pieces, I just put them in there. My husband and I use the large ones and um, it's so nice. It makes my suitcases so nice and organized. I was worried about kind of how flimsy they are, but I actually prefer that. Like if you're trying to make weight at the airport or um, just for squishing them in and fitting them in wherever, it makes for such a nice organized experience. And then as we're on our trips, I just fill the large one with dirty clothes when I'm not worried about separating it anymore. These are life changing. I wish I had gotten packing pods sooner, but if you see them, especially for a low price, these are definitely one to snap up. All right. Um... Next up, I'm gonna talk about my Botkie New York tote. This one, people were like, it's really flimsy. It fell apart for me. You can see that the handle or the shoulder part is wearing away. So it's not the most durable thing. And the fabric is kind of weird. I don't know what to call it. The lining has lasted well. It has gotten a lot of use out of it. It's not my chicest bag, but it is a nice replacement for a diaper bag. Um, and with it, I got, what is this? Another My Tag Alongs product is the little purse organizer. It's dirty. It has lipstick on it. I have used it. It's plastic on two of the sides and then it came with a little zipper pouch and then it has a magnetic closure. I am happy with it. Also not the most chic thing, but it does its job. They sell more expensive ones on Amazon that are probably nicer, but it fits nicely in the bag. There's kind of gaps on either side, so I can put like a water and then probably, usually I do a bottle of sunscreen standing up. Um, 
but I like the two together. And when I posted that on the forum, a lot of people were like, oh, that's what I'm doing too. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. I wish I had gotten the Herschel one, but I couldn't, it wouldn't go with everything that I wear. So black is a classic staple. And yeah, All right, I think I have mentioned everything that I was going to review. There's definitely other things I've gotten in the sales. Things that aren't pictured that I've loved have been the Glamnetic nails. I got like a groovy set that I wore for my birthday and it was so cute. They were easy to apply. Um, I bought actually their brush on glue. It comes with like a little squeeze tube. I don't have them anymore, but they were cute, fun for the price. And I liked the almond shape of the nail. Other things, um, Oh, I brought, I bought a dye, oh gosh, I can't talk, a dry brush from Daily Concepts. Um, it was, it was okay. It was a basic standard dry brush. Got gross pretty fast. And um, I prefer my PMD now if I want to do kind of any kind of exfoliation or dry brushing. So it was five bucks. It was fine for my needs. But yeah, those are my experience with these things. Can't wait to see what they offer in the fall edit sale. And let me know if you've tried any of the products I mentioned, what your experience was, whether it was the same or different. And I will see you guys in my next video.